All right, hey, what's happening, guys? I'm Chad. Ariana. And today we are going to be watching The Last Patrol, episode eight of Band of Brothers. Uh, we are coming down to the wire now. We've got yeah. three episodes left, so let's hop into it. You have a feeling you're going to live through the war. You have a feeling it's starting to ease off. Mm -hmm. I believe I might be able to live through it. So walk mm -hmm. carefully. Oh, wow. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah, it's interesting because it has to be like, a psychological feeling that would come in but there's no necessarily you know evidence that that's true right it's like muck made it a long way too the 101st airborne had been made famous oh it's the webster episode what i had missed bastone all i knew was what i had read and heard around the replacement mm. recall explains why we didn't see him mm -hmm. when i was finally able to rejoin easy company they looked nothing like the heroes who had just helped win the war oh come on i haven't been gone that long jesus <laughs> <laughs> that's a great point too though like in the newspapers talking about these like brave heroes who are winning the war and then you see them and it just shows like what it costs to win the war my name's david webster i just got back from the hospital good for you <laughs> where's the rest of the guys this is everybody. yep and this can't be everybody Hubler, where's he <gasps> oh wow i think you ask one of those and let it go let's check out webster you'll find second move oh wow Guys, oh, you're commanding two cherry of a Some lieutenant told me to report to second. Who's leading the platoon? Sergeant <laughs> oh Malachi. my gosh. Wow. Officers? Make a Malachi lieutenant. Down fast track. Mm. Really? That's great. Malachi's got that thousand yard stare mm -hmm. just out the. Yeah. I like that hospital. Uh, we left Holland four months ago. Man, he's been gone that long. Station, then the replacement depot. Well, I'm sure he tried to bust out and help with some best on work. I don't know how I would have done that. It was funny because Popeye he did. Away. Oh, wow. So did Allie, right? Back in home. <clears throat> I think Garnier, too. And then, didn't homie leave to a uh, toy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bill got hit. Blew his whole leg off. Captain Spears. What happened to Captain Winters? He's running the whole battalion now. Oh, wow. He's been gone forever. I guess that makes sense because he got hurt the yeah. same episode. I was a veteran of D-Day and Market right. Garden and had been with the company since its formation. But now, because I had missed Bastogne... It was like he was a replacement, yeah. Mm -hmm. a replacement and felt like I was starting all over again. Uh, Sergeant Malarkey said to check with the CO if I should be in 2nd Platoon. Have a see Webster. Seeing him in comparison to them mm -hmm. is so nice to really see how much they've changed. Right. Uh, been sick. Long enough. Because he looks like fresh face. Yeah, right we've on. seen it all gradually, so... Mm -hmm. And they all look like, I don't want to say damaged, but you know, like, been through it. They look road hard. Yeah, war torn, you know? Is this the company CP for easy? Yes, sir. It's Colin Hanks. Uh huh. Lieutenant Jones looking for Captain Spears. What platoon are you in? Oh, we're about to find that out. Huh. You know what you're going to do for this? I ain't let Spears handle it. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> Sir, this is uh, Lieutenant Jones. Listen, Christ's sake, will you go back in the back and shack out? There's some beds back there refresh. <laughs> Christ's sake. <laughs> Regiment wants patrol for prisoners. When? Tonight, 0100. Oh. Yes, sir. Yeah, don't take any chances on this one. We're too far along for that. Kind of what what's his name was saying in the beginning. Right. When'd you graduate? Uh, June 6th, sir. Of last year? D-Day, yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Captain? Request permission to go on the patrol. No. You don't have an experience. Tell tell Heffron Ramirez and McClung they're going. Sir, this is a private website. Sir, um He should know him. If Lieutenant Foley told me to go to second, but Sergeant Malarkey said Fine, second. Take uh Lieutenant Jones. Yeah, I mean it kinda who cares, right? Yeah. You know? Me too. I think Malarkey was just being irritated. Yeah. Which, that's also interesting to see, because Malarkey's normally such a fun-loving, mm -hmm. high morale guy, and so it's really crazy right. to see him be so hardened. Right. Are there other officers in the platoon? No, sir. Just Sergeant Malarkey. Oh, my God. Trying to run off all your stuff, too. Mm-hmm. The enemy's got those explosives that don't kill you unless they land on your head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Things are blowing up like right next to him. Wait, wait. It was Heffron, McClung, Ramirez. Come on, right. Sergeant, 
This is Lieutenant Jones, just assigned the second platoon. So you want to introduce me to the men? Well, some are sleeping downstairs, the rest are right here. <coughs> Sergeant, uh, patrol's being planned for tonight, zero one hundred hours. Is this kid out of high school yet? He's out of West Point. <laughs> West Point. Huh. What do you know about this patrol thing? Uh, nothing. Come on, Webster. Captain Spears is to pick 15 men. Mm -hmm. Scattered 88, snipers during the day. Yeah, we dodged some mortars on our way in. <laughs> <laughs> the contrast between the two is so uh -huh. nice. Looks so good. They haven't made any attempts to cross the river. No. They have roofs over their heads, sir, just like us. There are three men here in this room that they think should be on the patrol. Who? Mm. He's just getting stank eyes from all angles. You can't let on that you know. Your secret's safe, Webb. Yeah, I think it is. It's peer pressure. Efron. Shit. McClung. And you. Look, that's all I know. I'm sorry. There is a patrol set for tonight. So far, Spears wants McClung. You know. Yeah, we've just... <laughs> <laughs> right under the bus. Right under the bus. The PX rations just came in. Also, we got showers. Let's move, Shit. Oh, man. They're like shook to their core. They're like, oh, this is just another day. You weren't in the forest with us and they were blowing everything up. Now the trees are exploding. Oh, my gosh. In war, soldiers sometimes die in the fever pitch of a firefight. Bill Keen, a Tacoa man, was killed because he was carrying a sack of potatoes from one building into another. Oh my god. Oh, look how worn Doc looks. He was dead before Doc really even heard the call for a medic. Mm. I feel like this was a bad day to actually have makeup on. Did you know him well? No. Not really. Yeah, I think his name is Christensen. And yeah, apparently he did. Kind of cool Tom Hanks was in Saving Private Ryan, and then his son is in the show. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm leading this patrol. Of course you are. You want anyone from first? No. Is there anyone you don't want from first? <laughs> <laughs> so, second platoon. I swear to God, if we were down to three guys, it's still one <laughs> Has it been a long time since your last shower, Professor? I love how they're getting charged and then they're gonna have to cross the river anyway. Yeah, but like you still don't, you know, yeah. want the funk you've had growing on you. For yeah, me. for sure. Yeah, it's it also, just sucks about like the timing. Of course, yeah. It's also a good morale thing, too. Yeah. I guess I don't really need a shower. I don't either. Lieutenant? Yeah. You still wanna get your ODs dirty? Of course. Sergeant Malarkey's really in no condition to be on this patrol. And maybe if you offered, you could go in his place. That's gonna piss off Spears. Mm -hmm. Don Malarkey had been on the front lines every time Easy mm -hmm. Company had seen action since the Wild. Day. It would be a small moment of justice. The decision, though, was not theirs to make. First Sergeant Lipton wants you to lay a few bazooka rounds into a house across the river. I think we could get at least one Hershey bar. Hey, Big Mouth. <laughs> you just stole one. Take it Hershey bar, huh? <laughs> you gotta Look be good shitting it. me. <laughs> What's up, guys? How you feeling? As long as you keep your hands off my ass. <laughs> 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 Well, no, but I expect a little sympathy right. from you, you right? Rub it for you? <laughs> hey, can you believe this guy? You know what the hell it is. Not on my best. I gotta go blast this house. I gotta go blast this house. Webb, you come with me. Yeah. Sergeant, is Captain Spears gonna be where you're headed? Uh, same vicinity, yeah. Then I'm coming too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. 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 <laughs> Literally the moment. Uh, Captain Winters, about the patrol, I feel that I should go on the patrol, sir. I know it could use the experience. Denied. Anything else? <laughs> You're not going to leave that patrol, Lieutenant Jones. It looks like Sergeant Malarkey could use a break, sir. I've discussed it with him, and he said that he did not mind if I took his place on the patrol. I'd really like to be on that patrol, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. He's got a point about Sergeant Malarkey. Yeah, a point. <laughs> Stone face. Fine, you can go. Yes, sir. So who do you have in mind leading this thing, if not Malarkey? Right, okay, good. They still need a strong leader. Mm -hmm. No way. Not on his first day. You could pick almost anyone. Right. Now, do you see any other officer here? 
That dude's a tool. I really don't like Oh, there's Garcia again mm. for the first time in a million years. What? Talk about Cobb? Yeah, is that his name? Is he the one who's given a McAvoy crap about the pen? Yeah. And, uh, it's a tool. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, we've assembled 15 of you here for this prisoner snatch tonight. Sounds so dangerous. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Jones here, and he'll be along as an observer. Sergeant Martin here will lead the patrol <laughs> in Sergeant Malarkey's place. The whole battalion <laughs> covering your withdrawal. Oh, man. It's like, you just got me into this. <laughs> Whistles, we open up. So don't blow them until you're back in the boats with your prisoners. Remember, it's about prisoners. Don't pop the first thing that moves. This is a crazy mission. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Picture assault team. Clung, Sisk, Cobb, Garcia. And Webster, this translator. Mm -hmm. You speak German, right, Webster? A little bit. Good. Mm. On the other hand, it's not like he's there to not work. Right. So. Good luck. Ten, hut. Uh, As you were, carry on. Stop doing it. Just got Stop doing point, it, man. Yeah. You haven't seen anyone do that. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Little German. German's as good as mine. Does he speak German? Or is uh, that like. Lieb got the main translator. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Tries to get out of everything. Whatever. What did he try to get out of? They're mad because he you know, like, yeah, stayed in the hospital the whole time. Like he was supposed to. I know. When everyone like else he, jailbroke, you know. Right. Like, I understand that to a certain degree, but come on. Yes. Lieb God and I, we both speak German. Yeah? You said 15 men. There's 16 of us, including two translators. I'm fine. Uh, hey, Lieb God, you want to sit this one out? Yes, sir. There one. you go. <laughs> one is supervised. Yes, buddy. Three squads. OK, you men going on patrol? Nothing rattles, nothing shines. No helmets. Oh, shit. I can't believe this, like, Delta Force type of mission they have them going on. This is right. crazy. You set for tonight? I'm not personally going in. I'm supposed to stay in the rear and give them cover. Yeah, it's the best place to be. Man, Malarkey's energy is so different. It's oh, cool man. to see the actor be able to do both so well. Right. Oof, I have goosebumps. This is very, like, super somber. Whew, okay. Yeah, that's not doing you any favors, guy. Those who hadn't probably thought of little else as we waited for darkness. Mm. It is a good point, though, to go from being like he was a part of Market Garden. Right. And now feeling like he's a fresh faced recruit, you know? Yeah. Like, to have to go back through earning all the respect again, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because he did what was, like, supposed to be done. Right, right, like, right. I get it, Which but, a good number would do. Yeah. You wouldn't think to be like, oh, I'm going to break out of here. And, right. Well, and then also they showed in contrast that um, Percante did mm -hmm. also. But because he was there for Bastone, they don't feel the same way about him. Mm -hmm. Keep it steady. Keep it steady. You sent a guy on a mission in water who can't swim? That's, <laughs> that's not great. Well, now they're down how many people already? Five? Four? Well, they can hopefully get reset up and come. Yeah. I just... It's an observation post. It seems like if anyone's going to catch you. Right. Let's go, let's go. Powers, go. Go and club. In twos. Up. This just feels like a wild thing in general. Like, I know you already mentioned it, but, like, this just feels so extreme. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not Navy SEALs or whatever, you know, like, I don't know what kind of uh, special operations units existed in World War II, but it's like, Blank. this is a crazy Set mission. It. Security out, go, move. It's one thing to have the whole company just, like, mm -hmm. send an assault to just go fight. It's a different thing to send a splinter cell group to get in there right. and take out some some people alive and then make it all the way back and... And you're sending, probably sending out your strongest soldiers at this point, too. So it's yeah. like... And they got to, like, rig it to blow. Mm -hmm. And they got to, like, use the rape whistles to get them to start shooting. <laughs> like, it's just so crazy. <laughs> Sorry. Shit, love. And the rape whistles. Like, it's just a whistle. <laughs> I guess every whistle can be a rape that's whistle. It, you that's try. it. <laughs> Jesus. You use it for the right purpose. <laughs> <sighs> Saturday. <laughs> oh.
be nice if they could tie them up with something easy. Right. If they had, like, zip ties. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. And Jackson is... Yeah, I don't recognize him. Isn't that... Oh, no. Oh, let's go. But that does suck, though, because grenades have, like, a three-second delay, so he tossed right. it in, opened the door, and then it blew you up. You told him to wait, too, yeah. man. It's like you said, they still got plenty of time to get effed up on their yeah. way out, you know? Like, as long as you don't mess it up too bad, going in's the easy part. Right. Stress. Do you, like, remember to, like, whistle? <laughs> well, they already Blow lost. the whistle. There you go. There. We've already lost so many people, you just don't want them to lose anymore, right. you know? <laughs> like, the fucking boats go oh it's tough <laughs> moving in this really slow crappy rubber right? boat you know well that too you got these like hostile prisoners in there too what do you do with them oh my god oh oh man y'all gotta move faster but that's so true. Like, how are you holding this rope and trying to contain these prisoners? Because if they can swim, why not get the frick out? You know what I mean? Why like, it's they such, try to, like, flip it the was, boat? Yeah, anything. Like, yeah. Because, I mean, I guess at, on the one hand, though, you do know if you just go with them, you're going to survive. I guess, to a certain degree. Well, also, think about, I was thinking about that, too. How scary would it be? You're hanging out in your little outpost, and some yeah. bunch of Germans roll up and bum rush you, and yeah. then grab you and snatch you in the night. Exactly. That would be so scary. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this mission is insane. <laughs> it's so absurd. Like I, the, like, I mean, I can't even imagine. No wonder the, they were all so bummed and like... Yeah, it's the craziest mission. When I, oh when I heard God. it, I was like, I don't think I understand the mission. <laughs> like, I totally really get it, but I'm like, oh. Oh, God. No! What a waste. I mean, also, like, they didn't do that to him. Right. Light, I need some light. Give me some light. It's cool as a cucumber. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's get him out of here. Let's get him out of here. Come on. Mm -hmm. This is heartbreaking. It's okay, Jess. Let's get him out of here. Hey, Okay. Behind you. Eugene Jackson was 20 years old. He'd lied about his age when he joined the army at 16. In fact, Eugene lost his life on a stretcher in a dank basement in Hagenau, crying out in agony while his friends looked on helplessly. Did they put that in the report on the ADA? Oh, no. How long are you going to keep quiet for you? Stop making plans for after we shoot. He come to run cakes. Oh, they only got two because the other one didn't make it, the injured German. Because I thought there were three. I, I heard someone say that someone killed him. Oh. Jackson took a grenade for aggression in the enemy OP. No. It was his own grenade. Right. Mm -hmm. Well executed. It's not your fault. <laughs> it was. I mean, literally one casualty yeah. and it was self-inflicted. That's a big deal. Carry on. Thanks, sir. They sent him on a... I would be like, are you mad at me, sir? <laughs> like, yeah. why did you send me on this ridiculous mission? Oh, it was gonna be Malarkey. Those guys better know stuff. I think if Malarkey would have went, that would have broke him, though. But yeah, yeah. 
I'm surprised he's holding out as well as he is. Like right. he's lucky he didn't get treated the same way as mm-hmm. Compton. Right. We heard you got two prisoners. Good work. Jackson's dead. Yeah, we heard. Well, they want another patrol tonight. <laughs> For what? That trick won't work twice. What are you doing, cop? You leave someone in the bank? Yeah. Yeah, we did. It's a okay. Third prisoner that was too far gone to bring back. Where's his homies? Mm. I guess they don't want to cross the river. He's got a light. What you looking at, Webster? Ah, <sighs> it's just yeah. That's what I thought, college boy. Are you drunk, trooper? Leave me alone. Answer the question. Yes, sir. I am drunk, sir. Is he the one who didn't even jump in Normandy because he got hit first? Yeah. Taking orders. Hey, come. Shut up. It's boring, okay? Taking the side, Johnny? Yeah. I am. Yeah, he's the one who was like, take that pin off. Yeah, yeah right. In Normandy, and then um, Bull was like, man, shit, you weren't in Normandy either. Right. It's like he's just there to be a gatekeeper with everybody. <laughs> So he knows we lost a man? Yeah, he knows. He also knows he picked up two prisoners who talked. About what? OB, uh, supply trouble, Hitler's favorite color. <laughs> What's the point? Sink's been on the phone all day bragging it up, but I think he's just showing off. Oh, fuck that. He gave him a successful patrol, now he wants to. Which is insane. Mm-hmm. Like, the first one was crazy. Now they're obviously going to be expecting that. Uh-huh. How do you pull the same trick uh, twice? Same roster as last night. Same roster. Well, mostly. <laughs> Oh, that's so frustrating. Andy? I thought we'd have chills again. Y'all did a damn fine job on a tough mission last night. I wish you good luck tonight, because I'd be expecting more of the same. I'm like, damn sure you remind them how proud I am of what they did. Yes, sir. Yeah, Why that... would you send them? <clears throat> we'll take that right to the bank, sir. Fucking dickwad. Sorry, I just, that, that just feels hard. Like, that feels unnecessary. It feels unnecessary. And the same guys. Yeah. No, I'll do it. Yeah, that's fair. At ease. Sir. You men did an excellent job last night. I'm proud. I'm proud. I just saw Colonel Sink. He's proud too. In fact, he's so proud he wants you to do another patrol across the river tonight. Any moment now, the outpost we hit last night will go up in flames. Martin? Yes, sir. <gasps> Matt, please. Oh. Yep. Sergeant Grant. We recovered all the boats. So we'll be setting off from the same place we did last night. We're not changing the plan, Ames. Mm-hmm. No. The plan is the same. Oh. It'll be 0, 0200 hours instead of 0, 0100. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want you all to get a full night's sleep tonight. Which means in the morning, you will report to me that you made it across the river. Oh, wow. Oh. Into German lines. We're unable to secure any live prisoners. Wow. Understand? Sir. Because it is. It's oh, ridiculous. so what's point? Is he going to tattle? That's, that's definitely what the film language is. Look sharp for tomorrow. Is expressing to us that I, d- I honestly like that was bold for Winner to do, and honestly, like he needed to do that. <laughs> well, it's like, it's like, are you mad at us? Like, are, are you trying to like get us killed? Like, right. what's your deal? You know? Yeah. It's it's the most ridiculous thing ever. And Sink seems like a reasonable guy most of the time. Yeah. That's the only way to fight a war. Don't bother writing this up. I'll take care of it. Might actually enjoy it. Dan Jones. Sir, join us at the company CP. Yeah, because they don't trust you. Was that Spears who called him just now? Yeah. Too? Yeah. Spears can smell that. Uh-huh, a mile away. <laughs> I need to set this kid straight real quick. Mm-hmm. Your honorable discharge is an enlisted <laughs> man. Did they have to do it like that? I didn't know they had to do that. <laughs> Did they not know this? Thank you. Welcome back, sir. Oh, Harry's alive. Okay, good. Last oh, I, Harry's alive. Last I saw him, he was effed up, so I didn't know. Yeah. You've been nursing that scratch for nine months. Oh, so he's just been yeah. in the infirmary. Yeah, okay. Regiment has seen fit to promote you to first lieutenant. One to one staff up there. Good far with that. Oh, well, good knowing you. Congratulations. Good luck. Thank you, sir. She lost another platoon leader, huh, Whip? 
So a second patrol never Thank happened. God. Word was Captain Nixon wrote up a bogus report and regiment never got wise. Colonel Sink's a bit unhappy with the appearance of your uniform. He says it's not befitting your rank. Oakley's. Major. Congratulations, Major. Oh, full body chills. <laughs> Oof. Ooh. Oh, yay. Winner's gonna be a freaking sergeant a general by the time he gets out of here. <laughs> There we go. Oh, yay. Well, that was really slick of him to, you know, people are complaining he's trying mm -hmm. to get out of stuff and then being like, hey, we don't need two translators. Like, right. well, we've got to stay. Like, that's cool. I wondered if people back home would ever know what it cost the soldiers to win this mm. war. In America, things were already beginning to look like peacetime. Oh, shit. How could anyone ever know of the price paid by soldiers in terror, agony, and bloodshed? if they'd never been to places like Normandy, Bastogne, or Hagenau. Mm. By the time they left Hagenau, Easy Company's European campaign had taken them from England to France, Holland, and Belgium. Yeah, exactly, just all over the place. Soon, mm. the entry Germany. Uh, Stressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stressed for the next episode. Dope. And, I mean, since this was like, this is episode eight, right? So we have two more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So are too. we going on a roller coaster next episode, do you think? Or do you think it's going to be the calm before the storm and they're just going to mess us all up on the 10th one? Well, it's very interesting to think about the positioning that we're in mm -hmm. is that it feels like it's over, you know, and, right. it's, and it's episode eight. We're, you know, down to the wire of yeah. um, the whole thing basically being kind of called off. Right. Um, so it does make you wonder, like, OK, like what it's again, it's impossible because it's like my brain is wired so heavily to think about save the cat and the mono myth mm -hmm. and the hero's journey. And it's like, okay, well structure wise, here's how you would do this. But it's like, but what happened, you know? So, right. um, but the other thing though, is that you do also have a lot of influence on how you sculpt the way that you tell a documentary in essence, you know? Right. So it's like you, you can fit the beats in by just choosing what you point the camera at and when. Um, so yeah, it's, um, I mean, I don't know. What do you think? Oh, uh, I oh gosh, I don't know. I like that was okay. So, I really enjoyed that episode in the way that I like, did too. um, it just it was it felt very. I don't want to say well done because that's not what I'm, that's not the term I'm using. Just like default term coming to my it brain. It was though. I think. But this, it was, I think it was the last very, three were the best ones. Yeah, yeah. so far for sure. Yeah. And that one is just like the storytelling is getting a little bit more in depth. I feel like mm -hmm. you know what I mean. I know it's all based on a true story, but it's just like it yeah. feels more like. Uh, being more portrayed than just these quick action mm -hmm. scenes of just like fire and all that good stuff. And we're also um, more invested in the. We are too. more, a hundred percent. And I just felt like, from Webster's point of view, was really honestly like, really like you said, the contrast was great to see because it he was. looks like we said, like he looked fresh faced and ready to get back off. And they all just look absolutely at their lowest point, it destroyed. Almost... You know, and that's. That was huge in the episode. Like, it was a yeah. great part of the storytelling, so... Yeah, it was more... It was almost more important to bring back Webster this way that they did. Yeah. Um, to catch us up with how we should have noticed the transformation of them from right. the last episode. So it's like, because we've kind of seen it gradually happen to an extent, um, I wasn't really... It wasn't, like, striking me how different it right. was. So seeing him was like, oh, wow, yeah, Market Garden, like, the difference just from the, how yeah. they were then to now is so big. And yeah. it's so crazy that we were using the term as, like, glow up because they were looking <laughs> battered in, like, one I mean, the, I think, one, the <laughs> episode. I know, but then when you look at it, it's like, oh, no, it's a whole glow down. Yeah. It's a uh, whole glow should be down. rocking a beard. But <laughs> Les should always rock a beard 100%. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. Um, but, no, it's, it's very true. It's very, um, it's like, yeah, you're like, yeah, it's tough, but it's been tough the whole time. And it's right. like, okay, no, really, they are happy. In a yeah. way that they weren't. Like, um, and and getting to see someone who's almost a time capsule from how it was right. was very interesting. And it's not like um, it was easy then. But it's that's just what like I that, mean, yeah. right? Like, I, I'm a, I, in my yeah, mind, yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh, it's been hard the whole the time. time. But and like, it's like, yeah, but it really got crappy, especially Bastogne, because yeah. it's just so cold and mm -hmm. they had no gear. That's why it's and nice. And just how much they lost, like, just that. Yeah, 100%. The end of episode five is like, when they kind of head off and there's that funeral mm -hmm. march, it feels right. like, you know, and it's mm -hmm. like, okay, that's what episode six, episode seven mm -hmm. are going to kind of show you how right. hellish of what they're going into is. Mm -hmm. um, Colin Hanks's character is a little weird for me. Um, I'm sure 
it's just something that happened, so they had to bring it up. Yeah. But didn't he feel like he kind of, like, if he wasn't in the episode, it wouldn't have really changed anything? Yes. It felt like they almost doubled up a lot of the same sentiments that we had about, well, maybe what it was is, like, Webster is that sentiment on, like, the non commission side, mm-hmm. and then he was kind of that sentiment from, like, the officer side. Right. But it was kind of weird. It was like, okay, now he's just got, if he was, like, a part of the crew from now on, I'd be yeah. like, okay, sure, this was his introduction, but if he's really gone now, then it's like, well, then, okay, like, you're really, Weird. he's just kind of there, <laughs> all right, fair enough. Or maybe it might be to portray, like, just, they're just really not about, like, bringing in replacements and or outsiders at all Well, and it's really hard too. when it's an officer, because it's a replacement leader, and you're right. like, how are you going to lead and these I feel guys? Like, and I feel like it's also there kind of show, like, as much as Winter sees, like, he's from West Point, he went through all this training, he sees it, he's like, I'm not trusting anybody else any yeah. longer with my guys yeah. to go into it because well, not a baby. No, like, exactly. And I think that's old. what's showing. It's like, we're just like, we, you've already put so much on our shoulders. Mm-hmm. Why are you going to bring in something that's going to bring us even more down when we've been excelling with what we have right well, now? Well, but also like they got to go you somewhere, to, right? you know? So it's like, yeah. But it's yeah. like, I can also see like, like we've been doing this from jump. You keep throwing us in first. You keep yeah. doing all this. Yeah. Like, like malarkey has been on the front line for yeah, every no, major movement. Definitely seemed like that's the so hardest So I think, and I think, like, why did he get a promotion there? You know what I mean? Other than well, those to are some move. of the weird ones to me. Or like, yeah, if you don't, because you don't it's want. It's like he, it, it looks like a tactical move to move him out of easy. Yeah, because honestly, I'm surprised he's as you know close to I mean? easy as he is where he's at. Um, right. Being a battalion commander like that, and so um, he's really close. To that company, and so I'm also very interested if he becomes a major, like he should really be back with like Sync, you know, like hanging out yeah. wherever Sync is hanging out all the time. So it's like, yeah, I don't, but it's a couple of them too. Some of the other guys got promotions, and it's kind of like, well, I mean, another one's their first well, sergeant. Like, who's going to be the first sergeant then? It just seems weird. It's like, why are you shuffling people around? Right. Um, I mean, like the pay pump is nice, but like you know, you, you need. Yeah, when are you going to see that money though? Yeah, until the yeah, war's yeah, over. So yeah. what's the and matter? <laughs> um, it's, it's, yeah, like because uh, having Lipton, you know, move up to yeah. the officer, it's like okay, but now you have a hole for a first sergeant, and Lipton was doing such a good job. It just seems so strange. And obviously, Winters was so good as the commander, and then right. you guys had to go and f around for a while until you finally got you know onto Spears, which that's weird too, because Spears was from a whole different company anyway. Yeah. Um, and now having. Um, you know, again, Winters has been killing it and like he's, you know, a third of the reason that and Easy's doing so good and now he's going to be moved up to major. Like, where the hell is he going to be? So the whole thing's weird. I, I totally understand like wanting to reward them doing such a great job in executing everything they're mm-hmm. supposed to be executing. I get that, but like, maybe we should, like, I mean, I don't know how yeah, it works, I mean, but I feel right. like maybe wait till like, you know, if, if, if I the, don't know. If the well I don't know enough is... to really have an opinion on this, but I am saying I do think that's why they bumped Lincoln was Lipton. Lip- no. The Colin Hanks. Character. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even catch Lincoln or something like that. Something. But I'm saying, well, they randomly promoted him for what? That's well, what I was getting at. Oh, I'm besides sorry. When you to said move him, him out. I thought, I thought no, you meant Winters. no, oh. it was the end of that. Because why else would you move him up? Well, what, 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 what is he getting promoted for? He didn't. He just went well, along mission. to observe. Yeah, mission, that's what I'm saying. That's other than I, just to push him out of easy is what no, I'm I, saying. I could see that, and I. And yeah, I, that's I, what I'm saying. With I that. feel the same way though about Winters. Oh, okay. Because like, what he's going to be a major now and doing the oh, same okay. job. Okay, I like, see. We are both talking about the same concept, but just about different. We were. I thought you were talking about him because you said him, and I was like, yeah, he did get a promotion. That's a weird promotion. Oh man. So that's my concern. Is like. Is yeah, Winter's getting promoted yeah. up to major potentially could force him out of being so close right. to easy. Um, and then homie going from second lieutenant. To first, but but wow. that's the weird thing with Colin Hanks though is that first yeah. lieutenant to second lieutenant normally wouldn't move you out anyway. Or I'm sorry, the other way around, um, second to first. Um, so that would he would still be around. So it's weird that they're like, oh, we want you back over at you know division. So I don't know. The whole thing is just really weird. I could see them wanting to get rid of him, but also, but why? Like bodies are good. You know, like, bodies it's just, are good. It's but good I think it's around. showing that they really don't want anybody fresh face in charge of this anymore um, you know what i mean yeah but he would only be like a platoon leader it's not you know and again how they did it is how you would keep well, doing the platoon it platoon leaders are kind of the ones knocking this crap out of the but ballpark like are you gonna too. steal someone else's who's been like no, really, you know it's just it's weird it's very weird we're not we <laughs> i think we are finally way too emotionally attacked. well it's just it, it, yeah the show's doing a good job of showing yeah. conflict and Absolutely. you're trying to figure out how the the conflict breaks down and what what they're trying to accomplish and yeah. a lot of questions get asked in one episode to then get answered in the next episode right. which asks new questions which leads to the next one. So that's how it keeps us. They are. They are. They're keeping us very engaged. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next episode. See ya.